Okay, so we kind of reached a, a nice point now with the project where we got things working as much as we need. Um, the basic functionality is there. We've got this UI, controls the intensity, it can control the, um, uh, the gobos, the color wheels. There's lots more things we can do to the UI later, um, which would be chapter six. But at the moment, I want to just have a little look at this, this UI here to make sure the blueprints are all nice and neat. Um, now there's something we do to, to make things more easy to, to understand. It's called commenting. What we do is we we'll sort of grab all this section here and we'll just move it out a little bit so it's a bit neater. And we can create a box around it that makes it all contained into a section. Um, and it's called commenting. And we've got a comment button. So I'm going to call this UI uh, parameters or UI parametric data what's actually happening. So this indicates all this section here is taking all the UI information for us um, and it keeps it all locked away. So now I can, I can grab that box and I can move everything together. doesn't matter if there's nodes sort of pulling data in and out of the box from other nodes, that's completely normal. Um, what I'm also going to do is just start aligning things. So I'll select all of this, right click, alignment, uh, make sure you can still see me, and straighten nodes. It's just gone off the screen there. Let me Drag it over. Just conscious that you can't always see everything. Uh, alignment, straight and connections, and it just pulls it all into line, makes it look a bit neater. Um, I'm also going to do it this way. I'm going to try and align, we don't need the box, try and align all these uh, on the right. So now you've got a nice straight line there. And I'm going to try and align these on the left. Alignment left. Oh, it's pushed it out of the box. Let's just open that box back out again. Yeah. There we go. Just helps keep everything organised. It's easy to see where things are then. Um, do the same thing over here. I'm going to create a... Uh, I'm just arrange this first to keep it simple. Alignment on the right. I'm going to align these ones also on the right. That just straightens those up. Um, and then I'm going to do a straighten connections to make them all nicely in a line that way as well. Um, now I'd like, I really like everything to be perfectly in a line, like from this value, but it doesn't all fit in, uh, unfortunately. But that's neat enough. You can sort of see where everything's going. If I might just drag this one down a little bit. It's just so it's clear about what's going on there. Um, put a double click on there just to pull this node up. Just to make it a bit straighter. Oh, I can't really make that work. I can try and align it again. Alignment, straight and connection. There we go. Just a bit clear what's going on. Um, and we can comment all of this because this is basically our DMX to fixture uh, system. So we'll call this DMX to fixture. So there we go. That's nice that we know what that is. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to click on this, come over here. It's going to change the colour to sort of a sort of pinky colour so it's more distinguishable. Uh, so we can see see where it is. Um, and then over here we've got uh, a lot of our testing systems. So I'm going to pull the event tick up out of the way because this is kind of part of the whole blueprint. It's running everything. Um, it's, it's not specific to anything. Uh, over here we've got a lot of our testing systems that we were creating. It doesn't really do anything and we're probably going to delete it before the end of the project. So I'm just going to highlight everything after the get because this gets doing something useful. I'm going to highlight all of this and I'm just going to comment that and call it uh, debug fixture patch just so we can see what's going on and it's it's clear and I'll make that a colour like deep red just so it's obvious that we don't really need it uh, and now I've done that I can drag that and you see it's pulling all the nodes around right it doesn't really matter so I can pull it right out of the way so it's not distracting anyone um, and I'll just tidy up this this event by pulling these out. There you go. So that's much neater. Um, I'm also going to turn off this print string. Uh, we've, we've, it's done its job now. It's told us uh, when we've got data coming out. We've proven it across all the things we've been testing. So it's time to turn it off to clean up the UI there. Um, and let's just tidy this bit up. This is our patch information. This is getting our fixture information out. Uh, I'm going to put a comment around all of this and call this DMX fixture system. It doesn't need to really mean anything. It makes sense to you. But it just separates all the bits that are going on and it helps to uh, differentiate 
what's actually happening in your blueprint. And it's quite good then you can see what's working and what's not working. Now I'll stress that all of this stuff here and all of this stuff here, you can start to see all these, these connections that are like spider webs. These can all be rationalized into arrays and maps, which would make it all much neater and simpler. Um, that's something you might want to have a go at doing yourself. I've broken it all into pieces so we can see how all the elements are working. We can debug whether or not the light's actually doing its job at each stage. So that's just a bit neater. I'm going to compile and save, make sure it's still all working. And, uh, and that will do for that lesson.